So a social media post went out on Facebook that this organisation were looking for different tradesmen to come and do a few jobs for them. My name kept getting tagged in, so here I am, I've turned up and had a look and they've asked me to fix this water damaged ceiling. I didn't know who these guys were before, but I guarantee after today I'll never forget them. Okay. Hat. That's Leighton, my new apprentice. He's absolutely crackers. So I'm plasterboarding this ceiling, and what I've noticed when I look around, there seems to be pensioners working hard everywhere you look. My name's Kurt Johnstone, and you're watching On The Trowel. Today, we've come to help these guys out here. Ellesmere Port Men in Sheds. Now, they've got a big section of ceiling that's come down. I've been told that these fellas are quite capable of doing their own plastering. I don't know much about that, but we've got a big section of ceiling that is, they've said is just a little bit beyond their scope. So we're here today to fix that up for them. So I want to get this hole boarded as fast as possible. I've got quite a bit to do today. Now usually I'd stagger the joists, but this is a solid concrete ceiling and they've just used those battens to pack it down. So there's absolutely no movement, so I'm not worried about joists twisting and causing cracks in the plasterboard. So now, I just want to get it boarded any way I can. The joists aren't set out perfectly, they've just been screwed to the concrete any which way. So I'm just doing the best I can to attach plasterboards to them in a way where no plasterboards are flapping. Okay, so this is today's job. We're doing this job for men in sheds. And what we're going to do is, they have got a workshop in there. Show them that little door down there. We've got a workshop through there, and this is going to be another word area. And what they want to do is they're going to build an artificial wall here. Now this doesn't have to be like your living room ceiling. It's a workshop at the end of the day. But we want it fairly tidy. They're going to build a wall here, so they need this ceiling in so they've got something to work up to. And on this side, they're going to suspend this ceiling. And this side, they're going to kind of, these guys can, they're capable of patching these little holes up. They just need us to come in and do the big areas here, round the doorways. There's a few other little bits that we're going to fix for them. And uh, we're just going to leave them the little bits of patch and stuff to do themselves. So this job wasn't straightforward. Nothing was square, nothing was straight. And every two minutes, we had somebody asking us what was going on. Now, I wasn't joking when I said that there's fellas working everywhere. This place is a hive of activity. Everywhere you look, there's fellas doing something. So let me help you understand what this place is. Imagine you've worked your whole life and you get to retirement age and there's no more going to work. There's no more crack with the lads. In fact, there's nothing to do, you just sit on the couch. Now imagine you've had a stroke. Or imagine that you're single, or your wife's passed away. These fellas wouldn't see anybody else if they didn't get out. This place is a lot more than just a workshop. Just, just showing people what goes on and what everyone gets up to here, you know. <laughs> what actually are we doing here, fellas? What? Oh, right there, for this section here, yeah. Yeah. All the machines and what have you, the lathes and... Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. I'll clear out your way anyway, fellas, I'll leave you to it. Well, we used to want to block bodies around, so... <laughs> Another one? Well, I'm, I'm not the smallest one, though. I'm a bit... <laughs> yeah. Cheers, fellas. Do a selfie with me and you. Yeah. How's that? Right. This is this is Degsy, the joiner. Fart. <laughs> Degsy's putting this case in, in here. Now uh, you're the uh, you're the on-site joiner here, Degs, aren't you? No, don't you tell me that. I slept with one once. It's very fucking fucking. Oh, they they tell me that you're lying. How old are you? How old are you, Degs? Catch quick. How old are you now? Nineteen. 90. <laughs> It'd be 90 and he's, he's still... I'm on the way. I'm on the 80, so... I'm not in the way. I'm upstairs now. I've got five kids. 
So this is Degs, he's been strong with the banter all day. <laughs> Je <laughs> Jeff's been gentle with us, he hasn't given us much stick because we've had, we, we've had nothing but catastrophes today with things well, dropping off the scaffolding. Jeff's been ducking and diving whilst the bucket's flying around everywhere. Right, that's enough of the introductions. I need to get this show on the road. We need to get the back coat plaster on quick because that needs to set whilst we're having some dinner. The ceiling was up and down, so we're just trying to straighten it out as best as possible. I've got a bossy whilst I've got 10 minutes, that'll all set. You yeah. go cut it back, fill it with flush, and then skin it. Sure. Yeah. Come on then, Billy. We've got another hour. So, all the fellas, they're all uh, in the tea room. I've sort of snuck off just on my own for a minute. They made me a brew. And um, just watching these fellas work, it's basically. What I've discovered is men are just born to be productive. Men are useful, you know? And you can't just say to someone, right, you're 70 now, that's it, you know, stop. Because what, what, what do these fellas do? These guys are here and they're just carrying on, you know? And it's great because just watching the, you know, they're in there now in the tea room. I can't even film in there because trust me when I say the banter is strong. <laughs> they are, uh, well, there's some characters in there. But just, um, just being, a, I tell you what's interesting as well for me, as a bit of a younger fella compared to these guys, being around some of the older fellas, the sense of humour and, and the quirky little sayings that they have and the, you know, the, the way that they take the mick, but it's gentle. It's just a different sort of humour and it's really nice. I'm enjoying it. It's a good laugh. They're great to be around. In fact, if I didn't have to go out and earn money, I'd love to just stay here because this is a great working environment and some of these fellas are just fantastic. She's looking after me well. That's it. Well, my memory and everything's going. And um, uh, my body's going, my hips, yeah. my legs. I'm not a my cowboy. <laughs> you want me to remind you of something? No. <laughs> I don't really give <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're just going round having a look at what's going on whilst we're waiting for bonding to go off basically. So we've come out here and there's this everything I've seen up to now, all the journey work, all looks like perfection. These boys are just really doing a nice job. And then I'm not saying this isn't perfection, but <laughs> it's just been sort of like I don't know, it's like a, 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 I don't know. What, what's the term that they use? Shabby chic, urban Shabby chic. chic. Yeah. So, so this is this is Rob's project. So, what's Hello. going on, Rob? Right. So this is, if you really want to know the truth, it's a fag shelter, but I'm not allowed to call it a fag shelter. So, a belter shelter. So the blokes can come out of a chat outside if they smoke us or not. And I wanted to make it rather than just boring. I wanted to try and use as much recycled stuff as I can. So we do uh, shed clearances and stuff like that. So I've got wood from the um, wood from Vauxhall. Gave us some polywood in the back there. Uh, all these things, chains, bits of old wood, uh, locks, these have all come from uh, people donated it to us. There's a lovely little bucket on the wall there, it's obviously some old blokes little bucket. Uh, benches, we're going to have an astroturf. What I'm desperate for guys and girls, if you can get some, uh, is some corrugated iron sheeting to go here and on the roof to give it a kind of urban farm look. So if you've got any in your, in your garden or your shed or in your workshop, can I have some of that please? So about eight foot sheets, about six, eight foot sheets should do it all. Well, uh, have any of these boys ever been in jail? Like, no, that's you know? well, like, <laughs> I'm just looking at this. Our, our logo is. So if you can support us, help us anyway, we'd be great, very grateful. Thanks very much. That's it. We've got all that SBR on. Is there, I think, where, see where your thumb is there, Leighton? I think there's a bit missed there as well. It needs a bit of SBR. So we're just outside. These guys have got, um, they've got shipping containers and they get all reclaimed timber. <laughs> yeah. Check this guy out here. What's your name, pal? Malcolm. 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 He's just every time I turn around, he's just somewhere else working. The fella just doesn't stop. 
He's always got a smile on his face as well. Yeah, it's wind. Yeah, it's wind. <laughs> so look, they've got this container and they have all reclaimed timber. So this is like their storeroom. There's there's metal stuff here. They do, um, yeah, I'll show you. So all this metal. They do metal work, woodwork. Um, just, wait, just give us one second. Sorry, Pop. What do you, you do metal work here? Woodwork. Yeah. Sorry. I make banjos and ukuleles. And Instruments and stuff. Yeah. There's someone who does model making with ships and... That's uh, Chicken George, that is. <laughs> chicken George. Why are, we, why are we calling Chicken George? He keeps chickens. Oh, right, OK, fair yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah. so, and there's a potting shed as well. Yeah, there's the potting shed there. Yeah. That, that came and it was all rotten. Yeah. Like in uh, the lads have done here. Fair play. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a gist of so the woodwork, metalwork, potting. Instrument building. There's a fellow who comes in the <laughs> dancing. <laughs> right. <laughs> I could have a laugh with these fellows all day, but we need to get this job done. Let's get this little job done because it might make more coffee or toast or cake. I'm gonna explode. <laughs> Tell you what, I can see why these fellows like coming here. I swear, like, I'm being looked after better here than what I do at home with this is. So, right around the edge of this patch, it all needs to be blended into the ceiling. So this is quite a big patch to do, and those edges where they're feathered in dry quite quick. So it's important now that I work quite efficiently and get round this job as quick as I can, because I need to go over again and start blending in where I've patched. Get the second coat on now. It's not a big area, but believe me when I say it is like the sea. We're trying to blend in. It's all over the place, but it'll look nice. It'll look nice. I will get it smart. So when you're patching, you never want to leave a big ridge where you're joining in to the old plaster. So I've took time to feather the first coat in, and then I'm going to feather the second coat in now. And then when I come to trowel up, I'm not going to try and fight to get the plaster flat. It'll already be feathered in. I just need to wet it. Just being here and talking to some of the guys. Fellas come here for all sorts of different reasons. So we've heard a few sad stories, you know. Fellas that have had a stroke on their own, sat at home, you know, for a year on their own, not seen, not seen anybody, you know. And we've heard of a couple of situations where fellas said you know you were close to just calling it a day you know what's the point in going on but that said you know there's some fellas come here for all different reasons there's guys here i know from when i'm down in the pub talking to some of the old boys and i say to them you know do you miss it do you miss work and all they ever say to me is i miss the banter with the lads i miss the crack with the lads this is what this place is these fellas are all here working right they're not getting paid. In fact, they're just getting stuck in. Some come once a week, some come every day, you know. But that's what it is. They're doing stuff, they're productive, and they're having a crack with the lads. I think it's fantastic. I'll tell you another thing as well. These guys do stuff for other charities. So they're building dolls' houses for kids, you know, in orphanages or, or foster homes. They're doing, they're doing all sorts of stuff, little projects. Just, it's just fantastic. And to watch them as well. Grafters, they're all getting stuck in. Don't be wrong, there's a lot of tea breaks going on. They do have a lot of tea breaks, which I'm quite partial to a cup of tea myself as well. So Same. I can't knock them for it. <laughs> 69 end of the month. So I've been retired now uh, six years. I came to this place in oh, November last year. Yeah. And I've never looked back because I don't know, I was just sitting around and tossing around to I come here. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, usually. And I love it. It's great. I made bed boxes. I made a, a good rack from the uh, the shop guns. Oh, you were shooting as well? Yes, shoot, don't shoot. Yeah, I've got a caravan in Anglesey. So we shoot in Anglesey. I've got a boat and, we sh and I had a jet ski, but that killed me that did a jet ski. <laughs> 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 I'll say this to the fellas before, you know, when, you, when you've been a Grafting, you've worked your whole life. Yeah. You can't just turn that off, can you? You can't no, just say, no, no. You know, that's it now, I'll just sit on the couch now. Yeah. See you next time.
Guys, it's not a ghost. That's it, guys. It's like a movie, guys. Hey, it's a pleasure, thanks. So I'm like, you will never walk along. If you walk, you know, everyone is over there. I'm actually, I'm just watching you all working and getting on with it. I'm fortunate. Like, I, I want to come here. You want to be tired? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because, because there's, I find pleasure in doing things when I haven't got, you know, a rod to be back to do it. Yeah. When you don't have to do it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it, when, when, when you've got to do it because you know the, the wife and the kids and the mortgage and, and when you sort of oh, now you're you know, having leisure, you enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing I don't think you, you don't see very old plasters, do you? I think I think breathing this dust in, you know, and carrying plaster balls up and downstairs. Oh. <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> right. So I'm on my first water channel. There's only, I mean, how many people were there? There's about, there about 20 people here. We're down to about five now. It's only because I've been having fun, yapping away, chatting to everyone. <laughs> and they've all got, they've done their work and gone home. And now it's just me left on my own. Finishing the plastic. <laughs> yeah, you sort of sat with some of these blokes. And there's just, you know, two or three fellas. There's hundreds of years of experience, you know. It's just interesting listening to the, the thoughts and the wisdom that come from them. It's good, cool, it's good. Cool. Now, we'll give this the second wet trial and then just a polish. So, there's a few little bits together with the, the odd line and uh, a bit of bubbling. So, I'm going to brush it all over to bring the fat up and then we need a nice hard trial, leave it and polish. This is the second wet trial. So, as soon as this is done, um, we're going to leave it for a little bit longer. And it'll just need a good hard polish, and that will be it then. We'll be finished. We'll be out of here. There we go. All done. Nice and polished for them, all nice and blended in. So that was the end of the first day, and I told them I'll go home and I'll sort the invoice for them tomorrow. After seeing what they do here, I had a long, hard think. These rely on donations, ultimately. Write them a little invoice out. So, we've got a board and skim, hole in machine shop, labouring materials, nothing. Thanks for the great day. We're just going to stop off at Nenny's Sheds and uh, we've, we're going to drop the invoice off for them. And we've got a little surprise for them as well, so... Two as well. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 
Thank you very much. Now, I know you only needed about three or four sheets of it, yeah. but we thought we'd get you a load of it anyway, so yeah. just use it. Yeah. 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 Good love. I don't know. I think we've got some um, coating on them, but. Oh, yeah, After seeing what this place does for these fellas, and what these fellas do for the community, getting them a little gift was the least I could do. It was an absolute pleasure. Alright Rob, so is that alright for you mate? Yeah, thanks for it. Yeah, I'm sorry Tom. There's your uh, invoice for us. Right, thank you very much invoice. I'll pay this as quick as I can. Oh, what a star. <laughs> thank you. Thanks Leighton as well for your help as well mate. Uh, super, super, super mad. Super quick job. So get your plastering for you. <laughs> Rob, it's a pleasure thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. See you Take soon. it easy mate. Thanks. I genuinely hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did enjoy making it. I feel like I've made new friends there. It was absolutely fantastic. This wouldn't be possible if I didn't have my YouTube channel. So it is solely down to you guys, the viewers, that make this possible. So I am very grateful and I'm sure these guys are as well. Guys, if you'd like to support Men in Sheds, there's a link in the description. I know anything you could do would be much appreciated by them. Cheers, guys. I'll see you on the next one.